Welcome sir to the throne of history. Now we will start the analysis with fire number two who will answer the every questions we throw at her. Thank you so much Miss Para. Hello sir, my name is Farjin Bitimbresa from BSIT Year 1 and the set you assigned to me is set number 2 of which the method I will use in the analysis is the identifications of the historical importance of a text and the text to be analyzed in this afternoon is the one written by Marcella H. Del Pilar entitled Prayer and Tuxuan. So, what we're waiting for? Let's start the throw history. We have nine criteria on this analysis. First criteria, relevance. Under relevance, you have two questions. First question, is it important to the people living at that time? Yes, it is very important that Marcelo H. Del Pilar wrote entitled The Silent at Tuxuhan, which is a satirical work in a form of a catechism or a prayer booklet that presents societal issues in a witty, humorous manner that criticizes the prior's incompetence and malpractices during the Spanish period. Because during these times, the church was used to cover us and be used for their purposes. But with the help of this article by Marcelo H. Del Pilar and with the help of his nephew, Gregorio H. Del Pilar, who later became the general who assisted Marcelo in the secret distribution of this satirical work in the villages, made our ancestor aware of the abuses, cruelty, and humiliations against our native. Second question, is the article relevant? Yes, it is very important because with the help of this article by Marcelo H. Del Pilar, our ancestors become aware of the excesses, tyranny, disgrace, control, and let us believe that they are disciples of God, that they should be respected and worshipped. But contrary to what they are doing, which is shown in this article by Marcelo as a reason to cost or motive to our Filipino to fight for our country. So, there was a revolutionary in 1896 and as a result, we now enjoy the freedom. Freedom of expression. There was no so-called polio, eserbisha, and the bandala. There was also an equal view of Espanol and the Filipino. The Philippines also had their representation in the Cortes. There was circulation of the parishes. And we had an education system that out of the influence of the prior. So we are very grateful to our heroes including Marcelo H. Del Pilar who fought and gave his life. Second criteria, resonance. Under resonance, we have three questions. First question, identify who was the affected of the event and why is it important to them. The entire country of the Philippines was affected by Spanish colonialism. It is important for our ancestor that the work of Marcelo H. Del Pilar help us so much to awaken and fight against their wrongdoings because it has awakened us to the reality of the conditions of our lives during their reign. And through this, we began to take an actions to achieve the freedom that neither our heroes and all of the Filipino citizens wanted to have a good future now in our generation. Second question, how it affected the lives of a people who experienced at that event? During the reigns of the priors in our country, many of our ancestors suffered and lost their livelihoods after not being able to pay taxes or because the harvest was not good. We lost our freedom, justice, and human rights because every time the ancestor did not follow their wishes and become an obstacle for them, were killed. Because of the unfair teaching and overemphasis on religions, hindered the development of our science and technology, as well as our unaware of things, especially that in event around us. Many of our ancestors were always separated for their loved ones after being taken to a distant place to work on a heavy task such as a galon making. And third, you who are reading the article, is it possible to you to adapt what you read? Or are you related to it? Yes, I am very related to Marcelo H. Del Pilar's article, The Silent at Tuxuan, although I am not present at that actual event, but to this day we can see and still do some of the legacies of the Spaniard after their conquest in our county. Example of these are, are going to church every week, 
praying before eating, or even going to bed. And whenever we have important things to do such as praying before exam, leaving home, and many others, there is also our constant carrying of our rosarios because we believe that it protects us from the body bends. We believe in the power or miracle of statues or saint that they cure diseases, remove bad luck, and help the growth of our business. Our giving offerings or donations to our churches. We follow what is written in the Holy Scriptures or Bible. Every year, the festival is celebrating in thanksgiving to saint. In addition, it cannot be hidden that until now, there are still some churches stops have doing things that are contrary to what they are teaching to the people, such as when the Catholic Church was involved in the Nepalese wealth in the pork barrel scam, then as well as abuses and mismanagers inside the churches, even corruption by charging high fees on the church activities and much more. Six criteria resulting change. Does it bring about change in the future? When the Philippines came under the rule and power of the Spaniards, many changes were made. Changes in the economy, society, government, and even the culture of our Filipinos were changed by them. First, religion. If before, our native Filipinos already had beliefs in the God and goddesses of a nature, as well as the belief in the religion of Islam, was later gradually replaced by Christianity, and also gradually tuft Catholic customs such as baptism, marriage, confession, rosario, novena, penance, and worship. Additional, the blessing use of statues, colorful festival, celebrations such as Christmas, Eastern, New Year, Flores de Mayo, and Santa Cruzan. Seven criteria, durability. How long was the human life getting affected by that event? The Spanish conquest of our country began in 1565 to 1898. We have been under the rule for 333 years. Because attached to these events are all the legacies it has left in our country and on us, a Filipino. Eight criteria. Quantity. How many people experienced that event? Or how many people getting affected by that event? The entire country of the Philippines, all our Filipino ancestors have experienced such event in our histories or the Spanish conquest of our country. Nine criteria. The last criteria, profundity. Under profundity, we have three questions. First question, is the event is superficial? If then, why did you say that? This event has a profound effect on our history as Marcelo H. Del Pilar shared in this article about what happened to the Filipinos at the hands of the Spaniard before we enjoyed the freedom we enjoy today. We didn't just get it and not only did it change many things but many lives were also lost because of this. Second question, what are these effects? And third, how the life of a people getting a fest has had many effects on, a, on us apart from the massive influence in the modern Filipino culture. There are also many changes that it has brought to the home, political, cultural, traditional, economic, and even the status of a Philippine ancestor in their society. Because during this period, they set our social class into insulares, peninsulares, cruoles, mestizos, Filipinos, and Indianos. And for our conclusions or summary of our analysis, here, let's listen. The article written by Marcelo H. Del Pilar entitled The Silent at Tuxuan aimed to awaken the minds of a Filipino people by the corruptions, abuses, not only by the priors or other races, but also our neighbors. Let us learn to fight and not be blinded. Although now, our dealings with the Spaniards are better, especially with the priests, but may this effort be used to guide and knowledge towards a better and better future. As Marcelo found out in the struggle for freedom, may we never forget the sacrifices made by our heroes and our ancestors. Because if it were not for them, we would not be able to enjoy the freedom we experience today. 
How is that the history? Our discussion is over and we end the day again with a meaningful and important lesson. Until again here at the Throne History!